Okay, um, uh, after a quick introduction about um, the tools that you need to install, and if you need, I will um, guide you about installation later in next series of videos. I want to go straight to the first step that we should do, which is start a new phone gap project um, using IntelliJ. Okay, IntelliJ. Uh, uh, currently, I'm using is Community Edition. So, Community um, Edition. Uh, if you have, you can use the uh, Ultimate Edition. But uh, currently, I'm using IntelliJ Edition, uh, Community Edition. So, we're going to uh, start um, IntelliJ this way. Then, we're going to click on Create New Project. And if you do install PhoneGap plugin, and if uh, if you haven't known um, how, you can just click on uh, Preferences. Okay. Uh, maybe it's not showing that. Let me just close this one. Then Preferences. Okay. Then from plugins, okay, you're gonna search for Cordova, then um, install it. I have done it. Um, I have done it. Um, so I'm not gonna do it again. So. Uh, now we're going to click on create new project then you're going to select uh, static web then you're going to choose uh, a phone gap code of R. next so this one I'm going to call like NCC uh, phone gap tutorial okay NCC phone gap tutorial then we're going to click on finish okay. it's going to um, create the um, Phone gap application for us. Okay. A little bit slow. There's a guy thing there. Okay. So let's just have a quick look at the um, IntelliJ. So this one is code editor. Okay. Uh, this one is the run. Okay. This one is our main thing that we should have a look at. That one is the project. If you click on the project, you will have the platforms. So you may have uh, Android platform built over here. You may have web platform built over here. You may have uh, other platforms built in here. Then the most important part of the phone gap development folder is the www folders here, one web, web folder, in which you're going to develop your website. And this website is going to be loaded into corresponding platforms let's say if you developed it with uh, iOS you're gonna have a platform for iOS and this website will be loaded into that platform similarly for Android Windows phone or any other platforms now in the www it is uh, you're going to have typical folders of a website so outside here you're going to have uh, index.html which is the main page then uh, js.js uh, JS folder is to uh, store all of the javascript file for uh, your um, um, phone card location then images folder is to store all the images then uh, css folder is to store the uh, cascading star sheet for your um, applications okay so we're going to click on the um, index so this one is the main phone gap page okay starting page then uh, you can do all the coding uh, over here okay or change the coding of JavaScript and we're going to use it or change the index.css for the stash we're going to use it later on okay but that one is in coming video so in this video I'm just introducing introducing you to um, creating a new project and have a quick look at what the structure of a project is then probably uh, later on you may need to have a look at the plugins let's say if you would like to access to some native Android or iOS uh, functionalities you may need to add the Cordova plugin manually and they're gonna appear here okay so that you can use in your uh, website okay then um, that one is the typical development uh, so our main focus is developing our our um, our um, website and then later on we want to use Inte uh, IntelliJ to and, and phone gap code of our plugin to uh, create corresponding platform okay uh, let's just give an example in order to we're gonna keep this page okay so connecting to device, the device is ready and so on and so forth and we're going to um, try to run this, this application so you can uh, 
Chang edit the configuration over here for the run. So click on this, click on edit configuration, and you'll see that currently it is about to emulate, emulate with iOS. Um, and it's going to take us a, a, a long time. Um, and normally you can run or emulate as well. So let's just run it with iOS or with Android or with browser. So normally for phone cap development, it is highly recommended to develop, develop it with browser first before uh, you're going to choose to run it with uh, Android or iOS. Okay, so uh, I'm going to, I'm going to um, uh, start it with browser. Okay, let's just see and click on apply. I'm going to close first and you see currently our platform folder is, is empty. And if I click run, it's going to build that folder for you and it's going to start uh, you know, a browser. So we're going to run this one. Okay. We're going to run this. Takes us some time to build the platform for the first time and start the browser. Okay. So uh, now it's starting the browser here now. So let me just do uncheck the two. Start Google Chrome. So I have my browser starting of the uh, Apache Cordova project now, and the device is ready. And the device is ready. So see, so you can just click on this one again, and you see you do have a platform. That one is built for the browsers with your web is loaded here. With your web is loaded here. Okay and other like CSS images and that other um, um, add-in and you have the platform for browsers okay and let's just if you would like to normally we want to use this browser to work with your applications and if you would like to you can just right click and inspect this one okay so you can work with it and you can just select the mobile support here so you're going to have the graphical user interface which is somehow close to the uh, my, my mobile device okay and um, we're going to use mainly the browser for development but uh, I'm going to show you if you would like to really like to run with iOS okay or Android in this case I'm, I'm gonna choose Android so if you would like to start it with Android and you, you do install it already I'm going to just edit configurations okay just run and I'm gonna choose Android Okay, and you'll see it's going to build up the platform for you and start the simulator and install the app automatically into your um, device. So we'll click on apply. Okay, so it is about building the uh, platform. Okay, it's about building the platform. Okay. Okay, uh, no, well, probably we haven't started because I don't see it moving. So let me just click on this one and run again. Stop and rerun. Okay. So, yep, now it's, it's running. Could have a platform. You need the phone card, could have a platform. The first time it's built the platform for us over here for Android platform. So it may take some time. Okay. Yeah, it's about building that platform. It takes a little bit of time. Okay, building the platform. Okay. Then it's going to start my uh, simulator for first abuse. Okay, running the build. Okay, abuse successful. That's good. Okay, you have the IPK now deploying to the emulator. Okay, so uh, waiting for the default emulator. I have created the emulator already. Okay, so starting the emulator. Okay, yep. Okay, so it's starting my emulator there. Okay, let me see. Yep, so that one is the page. This one is the page, isn't it? Let me just, let me just wait for it. Yep, exactly. So this one is a page successfully. Oh, uh, normally as of my experience so far, for the first time we um, um, install and launch successfully, then it's, it's just go to the background. But then let's just, just click run once more. It's going to bring it back, okay, deploy and bring it back quickly, not that long, because we already you know, built the platform, and you see the platform is here, okay, and you see the platform is here, and we started the server, so now that 
application is running, that web page is running, or that, that phone gap application is running in our website. And we do have the Android platform built over here. Okay, we do have platform Android platform built over here. Okay, with the one web web okay. built over here. Okay. So uh, similarly, of course, you can start running this one with um, others like um, Windows Phone or iOS. Okay. Next part, I'm going to introduce you to the uh, uh, client development and also the backend development. Okay.